Hey guys, what's up? I want to welcome you guys to Gringo Tours, your number one resource of sex tourism. My name is Jay Lover, but you know, you guys can call me Jay. And I want to thank you guys for purchasing this video. And this is our first video of more videos to come. And today, we're going to talk about Costa Rica. Yes, Costa Rica. But before we get into all that, I want to explain what the hell is Gringo Tours. So I know you guys are saying, what the hell is Gringo Tours? And you know, what, why start a Gringo Tours? You know, what, what is that? What the hell is that about? You know, and the goal of Gringo Tours is to provide you with real world information on sex tourism, such as places like Costa Rica, such as places like Brazil, such as places like DR and etc. And like any straight man, you know, I love sex. And not only do I love sex, I love traveling to different parts of the world to basically have sex with beautiful women all day, every day. You know, I'm what the media might call a mongrel. And as a fellow mongrel, you know, we basically travel to different sex spots, you know, but when I try to find information on different sex spots, there's, you know, very little, if little information on the internet. You know, they got places like uh, International Sex Guide. And, you know, shout out to International Sex Guide. That's a really good resource to find information on sex tourism. But, you know, let's face it. You have to re read long, long, long paragraphs of text on a person's experience. And I basically want to start Gringo Tours of giving you that experience in video, basically. I want, I want to show you the real action. I want to show you what the hell Costa Rica is. What's, you know, what's the best hotel to stay at? What are the best spots? You know, what were the do's and don'ts? And, you know, how to basically, you know, keep you from getting ripped off. So with Gringo Tours, we're going to take you to all the hot mongering spots. You know, Costa Rica is our first video, but we're going to take you to the Dominican Republic after this we're gonna take you to the philippines you know we're gonna take you to brazil you know we're gonna take you to thailand you know we're gonna take you to colombia and many 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 more places and you know we're gonna basically tell you what the best sex spots are what hotels to stay at you know what to watch out for the do's and don'ts what to bring what not to bring and etc so I know the big question you're asking is, why go to Costa Rica? You know, what's the big deal? Well, let me tell you this, man. I just came back from there last week. And man, I had a ball, man. There's so many bad bitches in Costa Rica. So many, I mean, supermodel bitches. And you know, what's so funny is that you don't really hear too much about Costa Rica. Well, at least in my circle. You know, I pretty much, you know, hear about DR, Brazil, Thailand, you know, you don't really hear too much about Costa Rica. And man, oh my God, there's so many bad bitches. But before I get into all that, let me just give you a little detour of Costa Rica. Costa Rica pretty much borders Nicaragua and Panama. It, it pretty much borders that those two countries. And, you know, the main spot is a place called San Jose. San Jose. And San Jose, pretty much all the, the girls, all the working girls in Central America, pretty much go to San Jose to, you know, basically go to work, you know. So, like I said, Costa Rica is pretty much the central hub for working girls in Central America, you can probably even say South America, but that's probably stretching it. But the main place they go to in Costa Rica, San Jose, is a place called the Hotel de la Rey. The Hotel de la Rey. The Hotel de la Rey got some of the baddest bitches I've ever seen in my life. I mean, supermodel looking bitches straight out of a magazine. You know, they all come to this one place. And this one place, you're gonna find a lot of Colombians, you know, a lot of Colombian women. You're gonna find women from Nicaragua. You're gonna find women from, you know, pretty much Dominican, Panamanian, and even in Brazil. 
So a lot of these girls come to Costa Rica, pretty much to Del Rey. They pretty much come to this one spot. So you're asking, why do they come to Costa Rica? What is so special about Costa Rica? Why do they come? Well, there's a million reasons why they come. But the main reason why they come to Costa Rica is pretty much prostitution is legal. You know, due to uh, Costa Rica's pro-liberal laws, prostitution is legal. You don't have to worry about getting locked up. The only thing um, that's illegal is pimping. You can't pimp. But selling your body is pretty much okay. Um, Another reason why they come to Costa Rica is because they don't want their families to find out, you know, what they're doing. You know, they don't want their mom to know that their little girl is hoeing. So a lot of them travel from Colombia, they travel from Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, because it's, you know, it's far. They don't have to worry about their brother finding out or their sister or their mom. It's in a different country. They can do their business. You know, they could say, oh, they have another job somewhere, you know, all that bullshit. And uh, uh, another reason why they come is a lot of, you know, retirees, a lot of Gringos come to Costa Rica to retire. You know, and uh, you're going to run into a lot of Americans and Europeans with a lot of disposable income. Costa Rica uses a currency called Cologne or Colones. That's their money. Colon and Colones. And as of, you know, this is what the outlook looked as of 2012. And as of 2012, for every 100, you'd get about 51,000 Colones. And like I said, as of 2012, you know, this is based on 2012 facts. Uh, it could change, you know, later, you know, 2013, 2014. It could be higher or lower. But as of 2012, for every 100, you get 51,000 colones. Now, I know you guys are asking, you know, how much would a girl in Costa Rica cost me? You know, what is the, the usual price? And I would tell you that it's around, it usually starts around $100. And that's maybe for an hour, two hours, and, you know, maybe one pop. It depends on a girl. But the main thing, you have to negotiate everything up front. If you want a bareback BJ, negotiate that up front. Negotiate everything up front. Don't wait till you get in the room and try to negotiate because you're going to get a bad experience. And, you know, I know other spots where you can get them as low as $20. But, you know, we'll talk about this information a little bit later in the video. So you hiked up to go to Costa Rica. You finally said, hey, I'm going to pull the trigger. But before you do that, there's a little informa- travel information you need to know. If you're in the United States or you're an EU citizen, you're going to need a passport. You're going to need a passport. As of 2012, United States citizens and citizens from Europe do not need a visa. If you're from uh, another you know, country, please check with the Costa Rican embassy on the requirements and when you do fly or when you do decide to book your flight you, you're gonna book, you're gonna be flying into San Jose San Jose is where you're gonna be flying and the airport code is S J O S J O that's where you're gonna be flying into now I know you may be asking What's the best time to come to Costa Rica for mongering? You know, what's the best time? And I would say the best time to come is probably late October to early December. Why? Because rainy season is, r- rainy season is pretty much over around late October. And the flights are a lot cheaper around uh, late October, early December. Um, the hotels are much cheaper. You know, they're much, much cheaper. And uh, the girls are willing to negotiate, you know, because, you know, there's not too many gringos in town. And they're trying to make as much as money as possible for the, holiday, for, for the holidays, basically Christmas. 
So, you know, they're more willing to negotiate, I would say. I would say the worst time to come to Costa Rica for mongering, I would have to say around Christmas. Christmas and around New Year's, you want to keep away from Costa Rica because it's a very, very busy time. It's a pretty much a ghost town, you can say, because a lot of girls leave town to spend time with their family during those holidays, which is um, Christmas time. And also I heard a lot of locals get an extra paycheck, a month's salary during December to help out with, uh, you know, the Christmas bills, basically. And I also heard liquor is restricted on certain days around that time. And also Easter time is another bad time to uh, come to Costa Rica. So I would say stay away from those days. Don't, don't, don't go around Christmas time and don't go around Easter time. Those are the worst times to come to Costa Rica. So I know I'm boring you guys with slides and such. I know you're asking, you know, where's the video? Where's the video? I want to see some video. I want to see some actual footage. So right now, as you can see, you know, I just landed. I just landed in San Jose, Costa Rica. And right now I'm in the cab and we're heading to the Hotel Del Rey. That's where I'll be staying uh, on this trip. I'll be staying at the Hotel Del Rey. And we basically, uh, well, we basically flew from the East Coast to San Jose. The flight time was about five hours. And it took uh, like another hour to get through customs. And also, guys, when, you, when you're on the plane, make sure uh, when you get the custom form, make sure you fill that out uh, on the plane. So, you know, when you land, you can, you can just go through very quickly. So, like I can, like, like as you can see, we're in Costa Rica. And like I said before, you know, I'm very impressed with Costa Rica, San Jose. You know, it's, it's very modern. It has a very modern feel, you know, compared to other uh, countries like, you know, third world countries. You know, I've been to uh, DR, I've been to Brazil. And, you know, when you take that trip from the airport, you know, usually just see, you know, sh a lot of shanty towns, a lot of old buildings, and just poverty. But, you know, you know, in San Jose, it's, it's, it's just very modern, very, has a very modern look, very, it feels very safe. And, um, you know, as you can see, it's, 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 it's very modern. That's all I can pretty much say. So, like I said before, you know, I'm staying, I'm staying at the Hotel Del Rey. And, you know, we're driving right now. And it's about, it's about a 40 minute drive from the airport. And, um, like I said, guys, another thing I want to tell you guys, and we'll get more on the subject later. Be careful which hotel you stay at. Because there's a lot of hotels out there that will not allow you to bring back girls. They will not allow you to bring back girls. And that will pretty much ruin, you know, your vacation. You know, if you, if you pick a, a hotel and you want to bring back a girl and you can't, you know. Um, also, you know, when you guys are changing money, um, try not to change at the airport. You know, go, I would either change it at a bank or change your money at a casino, but don't change it at the airport because the airport is going to charge you a huge percentage. It's, 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 they're going to charge you a lot when you're at the airport. So the best thing to do is um, change your money at the, uh, the bank or casino. And also, guys, you know, it, you know this, like I said, Costa Rica is pretty much... Well, at least San Jose is pretty much, you know, safe. But, you know, you still got to be street smart. You know, don't wear don't wear fa uh, your flashy jewelry. You know, don't walk around with a lot of money. You know, you know, just, just try, you know, just leave that. Just try to be safe. Don't, don't, don't be too flashy. But like I said, you can still get caught out there if you're not smart. So right now we're still driving. 
and um, we you see right now we're going to make this left right now, and as you can see, we're, we're drive you're driving, and right now as you can see on the left is the Hotel Delray, the world famous Hotel Delray. So right now we're gonna take it to the slides. We're gonna go back to the slides for a bit because I wanna explain something very important to you guys when you guys are planning your trip to Costa Rica. So like I said before guys, you have to be very careful on which hotel you wanna, where you stay at in Costa Rica for mongering. Because some hotels will not allow you to bring back working girls in their hotel. And some of them may even charge you up to $80 to bring back guests. So right now, I'm gonna tell you the top, my top five uh, hotels to stay at in Costa Rica for Mongrim. And I'm also gonna tell you um, hotels to avoid uh, in Costa Rica for Mongrim. And I'm also gonna um, tell you, well, I, I, I'll get into that a little later about um, uh, love hotels or budget hotels that you can rent uh, by the hour. So right now, I'm, we're gonna go into um, my top five choices to stay for mongering in Costa Rica. Right now, we're gonna talk about my five top hotels to stay at in Costa Rica. And right now, we're gonna talk about the Del Rey. And, you know, I have to say that the Del Rey is probably one of my favorite spots to stay at. One of my top spots to stay at because you know, it's the main attraction. And like I said, it's the main attraction. You go downstairs, there's hundreds, 100 or 200 chicks, you know, waiting to get scooped. And um, what's so funny is that when I did my research, you know, I checked, you know, when I do my research, I checked the blogs, I go on the International Sex Guide, and a lot of people didn't like the Delray. A lot of people said it was dirty, it wasn't clean, you know, it, it sometimes it has roaches. But, you know, I listened to that, but I was like, you know what, let me just stay there anyways. Like, fuck it, it's the main attraction. You know, let me just stay there. And I don't know, maybe my expectations were low, but, you know, when I went, it was it was nice. It was a decent hotel. You know, it was clean. You know, the rooms were clean, uh, friendly staff. You know, of course, it wasn't a five-star hotel, but, you know, like, let's face it, why would I want a five-star hotel if I'm bringing working girls? You know, if they see, you know, they, they the moment they see, if you bring them to a five star hotel, the moment they see that, they figure, okay, you have a lot of money, so the the price just went up from one hundred to two hundred dollars, you know. <laughs> so you know, it, it it was pretty decent, I have to say. You know, I like it, but um, what we're gonna, you know, like I said, it's the main attraction. Not to bore you guys, it's the main attraction, and um, as a when you go downstairs, it has a bar you can drink at, and they have a casino. The casino, that's that's one of my uh, all-time favorite um, things to do. My favorite game is roulette. You know, we played a roulette, and I think the, the, for the whole trip, I won about $300. And like I said, they got some of the baddest bitches there, man. They uh, The chicas are there, you know, 24-7. You know, they got, you know, on a, on a given night, you might see anywhere from 150 to 200 girls there, you know, and, and they're bad. And like I said, they start at about $100, you know. Um, the, the chica's gonna want like $100, but you can negotiate down to maybe like 80 or 70, you know. It depends on um, the girl, basically. And the room start at, I could say $55, and I think it's about 150 if you want the penthouse suite. I think it's 150 dollars. And as you can see on the right, I had, you know, I got me a chica from last night. She was she was nice, man. If you could see on the right, the third picture, and she was she she blew my mind away, man. But we'll get into more of that later. So as you can see, I'm in my hotel room right now. I'm in the Hotel Delray, and as you can see, I'm looking outside, 
And you know, I, I basically took the basic room for $55, uh, $55 a night. And as you can see over here, I have my safe. The room comes with a safe. And also make sure guys, you guys lock up your uh, belongings in the safe. You know, because, you know, just in case like your passport, your money, put that all in the safe. And you can see right here, it's a basic bed. You know, it comes with a flat screen TV. Um, you know, and like I said, the room, you know, it's pretty clean. It's very basic, you know. Um, and as you can see right here, we have the bathroom, you know, typical bathroom. You know, it's very clean. You know, it comes with towels and stuff. And um, this is what you get for $55 a night. This is the basic room. So as you can see, it's my first night and, you know, I grabbed me a nice little chica. Um, you know, she was Costa Rican, as you can see. And she's about 23 years old and man, she had a fat ass. And I'm, a, I'm an ass man, by the way. I love big asses. And like I said, you know, when you go downstairs to the Del Rey, you know, on a, any given night, there's about 100 to 200 chicks to choose from. She's just one of them. And, you know, man, she's hot, man. I mean, her ass was so crazy. And I had fun with this one. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, just look at that. Just look at that, guys. Oh, man, look at... Oh, man, man, man. Man, I can't, I can't wait to go back, man. I cannot wait to go back. But in a couple of minutes, I'm going to show you guys, you know, I'll give you guys a big tour of the Delray downstairs. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Delicious.